Hello and welcome to another Mortal Phoenix 30 minutes hour of power. Season 2 I might add because we're starting again, we're starting afresh. It's been a while since we did season 1's 4 episodes of making Pavlova, a Christmas tree, a wooden car and what was the fourth one? Crystal growing, that's right. <laughs> I can't remember half of them, there's so many of them. Even though there's like five. <laughs> okay. Uh, so today, I thought, in honor of season two, we're still celebrating the return of it. I thought I'd do something that we're all sort of familiar with. Car building. Which <laughs> we're building another car, but this time it's not actually from Woodworks. This is from Rocker. Yeah. <laughs> this is a stupid name. Um, so we're building a car, but it's not like pieces that you just put together. This is like a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm excited for this. I don't know how long this will take me to do, but let's open it up and get right into it. Also, apologies about the background noise. It is currently raining outside. Um, I did not plan for this. Oh my... Eh, get off. Eh, this makes the third car that we put together in this series. There is one more, but uh, if you guys have seen it already, I don't think you have. It is the uh, 1969 Camaro from Ravel. So that didn't work out because I found out I needed glue. And that will be up as soon as I find glue because I thought on the packet it said no glue required. Turns out I was wrong. Eh. Okay, this is dangerous plastic. That goes in the bin underneath the desk. Okay. Right. So this is from the 1910s. This is old school. This is the Grand Prix car. Alright, interesting. Number 32. Life 32? Who knows? So let's... Yeah. Well, that's gone. Okay. So, wow. Okay, this is very complicated. There are instructions that go with this, but I do just hope that it's not going to take up like 45 minutes because this is the 30 minute hour of power, not the 45. Oh, hey. What is this? Is this sandpaper? Oh my god, it's sandpaper. Why do I need sandpaper? You know what? It's fine. Rocker, more than a puzzle. Well, this. Oh, okay. It's a, uh, it's a promotional card. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll keep the sandpaper handy, because I think we'll need that. Uh, this looks like the instructions. So, back, so, step one, step two, okay. So, let's get all of these pieces out. Okay, there's only... Oh, I thought there was three. There's four sheets. And there's also cardboard pieces, too. Okay, why is there cardboard pieces? I didn't think there would be, but you know what? It's fine. It's whatever. I don't care. We'll get through it. Okay, step one. We need the main body piece, which I'm assuming... No, that's not it. The main body piece is what piece? It's what piece? This doesn't exactly help me. A1. Oh, okay. So they are... Oh, okay. They're numbered and labelled. Okay, well that makes things easier then. A1. It's A16. A... A1. A Found it. Oh, no. Not the piece I wanted to get out first. Well, 16. You're not to be out for a while. Okay. We need A1 and A2. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. I like these though, these, these look fun. Wait, am I doing it the right way? Am I doing it the right way? I think I am. It's just, it, it, some of these pieces look like they need to be forced in. I can kind of see why, because you need this thing to be stable and sturdy, so we're going to do that. And then we need A3 times 2. So that's these two pieces, and they sit, how do they, wait a minute, how do they sit? 
hold on a second. Is this right? This is this right? Do they slide in? I'm assuming they'd slide in. It doesn't exactly specify. Uh oh, I broke it already. <laughs> Oops. It's alright, that one's sitting at the back. That's fine. No one's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. I don't I don't understand the meaning behind that meme, but I kinda like it. Okay. So we need A4, which is this Mama Lama. We need this. Okay, so it's gonna go in and across. So it'll sort of be held in place. Ah, okay, that's interesting. I need this to be more over though. It's not quite over all the way. There we go. Alright, now it is. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're thinking with portals. Okay, cool. So now we need A5 and A6 and A7. They need to go together. A5, A6, eh, and A7. Out you come. Come on. Okay, so, we've got this doohickey. We need A A7 needs to go on the bottom. So slide that into the bow. But, 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 there we, yeah, there, there we go. Into the bottom. And then A6 needs to sit and two. Like that. Cool. I kind of like this. I'm actually kind, kind of liking this. I think this is a good fun. Okay, I hope those little side pieces that I had weren't too important. Okay, so that's it like that. And then... 14, 15... Wait. Okay. I guess we're doing this. 14... Is... Yeah, that one. We need two of them. Oh god. Don't break on me. 15 is this one. And then 13 is the big one. Okay. So... Ooh, alright then. This is looking very confusing, but you know what? I ain't gonna question it. Oh, okay, okay. I think I see where this is going. Eh. If this wants to slide in. Come on. Am I doing this right? I am. I just don't want to break it, that's all. That's what I, that's the, my biggest worry, is that I'm gonna break it. Oh god! Maybe, can I, could I have sanded this down so it would fit nicer? Maybe I could have. Oh my Jesus Christ, this is, like, really in there. It won't go any further. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sand this down just a touch. Maybe that'll help. Just maybe, it might help. You don't know that, but it could be just part of a possibility. Urgh! There we go. So sanding it down just that little bit helped. Now I've, I've done a lot of woodworking before. I think I mentioned this in the Woodworks Power Hour, or Hour of Power, whatever you want to call it. It's up to you. I say Power Hour because it's easier for me to remember. Um, but I did do my own wooden car for woodworking in year 12, and that turned out really, really well. I'm not gonna show you again, so if you want to have a look at it, the playlist will be in the description below. So I highly recommend checking out season one, because why not? Self-promotion is best promotion. Okay, so now this looks like the drive shaft, if I'm not mistaken. I can only assume it's a drive shaft of some sort. Maybe it's a gearbox. I don't know. Okay, so 16. Wait, A. Oh no, that's A1. A16! Aha! I knew you'd come in handy. Okay, so this needs to go like this. Yes, it does. Does this have. Oh no. I was gonna say, does this need to slide across? But it wouldn't be able to anyway, because this is in the way. Okay. Alright, I'm getting it. I'm getting the rhythm and the rhyme. What's next? Like Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Okay, the next... Oh my good gravy! Okay, so now that we have this and this, we need to focus on this one. So we need... 
we need a ten. Where's a ten? A ten. Do we need both a tens? I don't know. One's a nine and one's a clear. I have two a tens here. Do I need both of them? Maybe I don't. I just need one for now, by the looks of it. Okay. 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 All right. So a ten needs to also be locked in. That's what it's telling me. A10. Lock it in, Eddie. I'm sure some of you probably won't get that reference. But that's fine. We have a, there's a game show in Australia called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Hot Seat. I'm sure most of you have some variation of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, but ours is Millionaire Hot Seat. And uh, all the contestants are like, hey, lock it in, Eddie, as like the biggest, you know, sort of meme on the show. I wouldn't say it's a meme, it would kinda have to do it. But still, this won't lock in. Oh, I'm just, I'm scared to s that it, if it's gonna snap. <laughs> Hold on, can I get this out? Come on, ouch, Jesus. Okay, 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 that's, that's still not locked in. God damn. I, I do hope that Rocker like made all these parts with a little bit of room for error because if you didn't guys then that's just kind of slack. It's like when I had to put together a, um, a, a piece of outdoor furniture or an outdoor furniture setting from Temple and Webster and I don't think that anybody there Tested out all the joints, made sure that they all lined up and they all fit because that was the most nightmarish thing I have ever had to put together. Maybe I'm using the wrong A10. Yeah. Let's try the other A10. They're both the same piece. It says I only need to use one. For now, anyway. Okay. Maybe. Well, this one slid in a bit better. There's still not a whole lot of room to move. And like I said, I am just petrified that it's going to break. Oh, gee. Wow. Okay. So there is not a whole lot of room to move because it is pushing out the wood. Alright then. Maybe... Ooh. What if I did it the other? No, I don't think it would work. But let me sand it. <laughs> Probably just needs to be off by like a few mil for it to slide and lock in. I'm willing to bet. Oh, it's still pushing. But at least I know it'll be locked in place. I think that's as far back as it'll go. If necessary. Yeah, I think that's as far back as it'll go. Okay, what's next? Next step. We need A9 to sit on top. And this needs to sit like that. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh -huh. I think yeah, ain't turn these push back far there. Uh oh. It's it's starting to snap, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to push it back much further. So let's leave it at that. <laughs> okay, now these two need to click together. Like so. Eh. Did I get it? Is it in? I think so. I think, yep, it's in. Okay. So now, what's the next part? What's the next part? We need A23. A23, come to me. I need your help. Oh, fitty dee dee. I don't know what I'm singing. Uh -huh. Oh, God. See, the problem with wood, the problem with timber, or any form of wood for that matter, is that it, because you're rubbing wood against wood, the fibers can, like, cause friction. Yes, I learned all about this in woodwork. But the, the timber fibers actually can cause a lot of friction and there go most joints won't 
sit together, or they won't sit flush, kind of like this. Because there is so much room for it to move. Can I push this down using the bench? No. Oh. God damn. There's not a whole lot of room for it to move. So when you have this sort of issue, like, you can't do a whole lot about it because, you know, you just have to let it happen. You have to let it sit where it is, and if you try and force it, then that's when you start getting breaks and splinters and everything else in between. Yeah, it's just, it's not... Jesus! That rain, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this piece in. I'm sure I need this piece for something, but it's just, it's not lining up. And I'm and forcing it in isn't going to do me any favors. It's going to make things a hell of a lot worse. Like, there isn't a whole lot of room for it to move around anyway. Like, I, I do, I know I need this piece to sort of keep it all stable and keep it all steady, but... Like I mentioned before, if there's no room for it to move, you're just going to cause issues. Because if I'm not mistaken, this has to sit flush on the bottom. Which it does. Okay, I might leave this piece out. I hope it's not important. But it's only because there's no room for it. Like, even if I were to get it in, there's no room for it to actually, like, sit properly. Unless... I did this... Tried to push it all in on itself, but even then... It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be very, very tight, that's for sure. Uh, A4 had to go which way? This way. Yeah, working with timber, it there is there isn't a whole lot of room to move, so you end up having a lot of you know friction problems. But I suppose I could have done that, and then try to line it all up. Oh wait, no! Dang it! Hang on. Okay, now I see why. It's like, oh yeah, put this in later. Wait, is that the... Did I put it in the right way to begin? Oh no. I did. I did. Okay. And now... <sighs> Almost got it. There's nothing really I can use to sort of like... Eh, alright. You know what? I'm gonna leave this piece out. It just, it won't fit. It won't work. I'm sorry. And it's caused a lot of breakage already. So, we'll leave that out. Maybe I can fit it. Maybe I can fit it in now that everything's broken. This rain, my god, stop it! Fine. Uh, what piece is next? A8. This one. This, the one that looks like a key. Sure. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work because most of it's broken, but it's worth a shot. Okay, now I know why that piece existed in the first place. To keep it all stable. Like... <sighs> Alright, well it's in now. With minimum minimal casualties. God, half these pieces just don't fit. Like I said, you would think that someone would like once they've made it, make made sure that all the pieces fit and it's all aligned properly and all that smooth jazzness. But it again, like this is why quality assurance exists. Make sure that pieces fit. Make sure that. Everything flows 
together. This doesn't flow. There's a lot of fiddling. There's a lot of mucking around and, you know, shoving in places to get things to fit, to get things to work. And at the end of the day, that's, you know, that's, unfortunately, that's bad product. But hey, maybe the end result looks great. I mean, once again, I'm going to, unless I can get this in, get it in properly. There we go. Oh my god. This is really difficult. This is... Oh god. That hurts my my thumb. God, could you imagine, like... Because clearly, like, this is... Oh man. This is designed for, like... I don't know, I'd say this is more or less like a father-son thing to do. Ugh. But... Like, this hurts, because I, I wanted to give one of these to my grandfather. God, I could only imagine how he'd be coping with it. Holy God. That, that is a lot of pain. Real, really, that is a lot of pain. Okay, A11 is next. We need A11. And we don't need another A10, so I'm guessing that piece is just a spare in case it does break. I'm hoping that's the case. There we go. Is it supposed to? Oh, it needs to go right through? Oh no. I think it might be a case of like having to sand down all the pieces first so that they flow nicely. I'm willing to bet. Because Jesus Christ. Christ, the amount of friction involved. Yes. Okay, so you need to... I, it looks like you just need to sand down some of these pieces for them to work. If they don't fit the first time, sand them down and replace it. Alright. So, what is next? Part 3. We need A26 and A12 times 2. Okay. These tiny little pieces? Jesus. Alright, what's A26? It's this piece here. Okay. Now, see, tiny pieces like this you couldn't really sand. Because they just roll around everywhere. But I'm gonna try. Well, what do you know? Turns out sanding actually does help. Yeah. Okay, so they're both in. Oh, they have to go right through. Oh, that's lame. Okay. Just as well I got some form of nails, otherwise this would be very painful. Okay, A25 and 24. I need this one, and this one. So A25, it goes this way, and it just sits on top. Am I making an engine now? Am I making the engine block? I feel like I might be. Yeah. Oh, that shattered the bottom of it. Oof, I destroyed that. Whoopsies. God damn. Well, I hope I don't need another one. Either way, I didn't need that piece. Push it through at least, make it somewhat usable. And then A24 goes like this. Okay, well, it's sort of still holding technically. So that's good. And now we have this. And now we gotta do the same thing, but the other way. So we need 29 as our base. And then 28 is the middle piece, and 27 as the top piece. And we need two more 
these tiny little feckers. Okay. So 29. 29's gonna go, well, for some reason they want it to go like this, so I'm not gonna complain. Then we do that, and then, oh good, oh god. Come on, in we go. That one. And then, oh god. I don't want to push down too hard for fear that it will splinter again. But I guess I may not have a choice if I want this all to work properly. Ah, oh, you mother... What did I... I thought I heard it snap. It's another one. Well, this one isn't going to hold as well. But you know what? We will make do. God, it's so... It's, it is really finicky. Like, I'm not up playing it or anything. It's just so finicky. The, th the funny thing is, I've got a couple more of these in mind that I want to do. I don't know if I want to do them now because of just how finicky this is. And it's so delicate, too. And the th the th they're not using, like, standard timber. It's like plywood. Which makes things even worse. And it's probably, like, pine plywood. Which is not the greatest, but for, you know, con model construction, it's probably best. It just sucks. Okay. Why is this... Wait a minute. Why is this backwards? Why is it like this? Why are the instructions like... This doesn't make... You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to carry on. How long have we been doing... Oh my god, it's been half an hour. Okay, I might skip ahead until we've gotten somewhere, at least. Six and a half hours later. Aside from that little incident at the end, it is done. There is a few spare pieces, I can understand why they, they gave me spares. But aside from that, it's finished. What is this for? These look like cutouts of some sort. What are they for? Does it say? No, it doesn't say. No, it does not say anything about this. So, I've just got these random cardboard cutouts. Yeah, yeah, they are cardboard. What the hell is this for, anyway? Looks like part of it folds. I mean, I would assume. Because there's these dotted lines. Is this supposed to be like a stand? Is this clearly supposed to be a stand? I think it might be. I think that's exactly what it is. Or not, that looks very long. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'd say so. I mean, it fits the length of the, the car perfectly. I don't know what this is. There's nothing on the... There's nothing to say what it is, exactly. And is this important? Are these initials important? I feel like it would- oh god. Like I said, it fits it. It fits it very well, so... My guess is that that's, this is exactly what it is. It is supposed to be... a stand of some sort, of some description. doesn't look right. It really doesn't. I don't know. I don't know why I had this 
Maybe there is a reason. But you know what? It's done. It is finished. That took way too long. That was two hours and 20 minutes total of recording. But it's done. And it, look, it doesn't look half bad. Like I said, it's, it's just, it's because it's timber. And there's different directions of fibers that it just doesn't fit well. It doesn't work well with itself. It, it's it's a decent looking product, don't get me wrong. I mean, this is this is probably, this would be fun for like a child or, you know, someone who's doing this for fun for whatever reason it may be. It's not bad, it's just I wish they sort of, they either made the pieces a bit more loose in their fittings or they like took the time to sort of realize that fibers don't work well with each other when they go the opposite direction and i like the fact that you can like move it i mean you can't move it on this desk because it's absolutely shocking but yeah the wheels actually move and so does the steering wheel like the steer i don't know how well that's going to be picked up on camera but you can actually move the steering wheel and this back wheel you can't because it's supposed to be a spare but not bad I'm very happy with how this turned out. I'm, I might do another one, I don't know, it just depends on what what type it is. There is a Vitascope that I want to do, like an old-fashioned um, film reel. There, so there is that, but I don't know if it's going to be as complicated as this in terms of its tiny pieces and its brittleness. And that's another thing too, it's very, very brittle and very very sensitive so once it's all together you have to be careful with it especially with these bendy pieces because they are very delicate but not bad I I reckon if you painted over this gave it some color like a nice deep green I think it would come out very very well I think green would suit this car very much but not bad not bad at all just so, like I said a few little pieces here and there and I think it would have been absolutely great but yeah there we go. I'm quite happy with this. I think it's great. But who knows? I might, like I said, I might do another one. It just depends on, uh, you know, how much I'm willing to put my fingers through torture. So we'll see what happens with that. But for now, I'm going to leave this 30 minute hour of power here. So thank you all for tuning in to this episode of Season 2 of the Mortal Phoenix 30 Minute Hour of Power. Let me know if you have any ideas for me to do in the comments down below. I will look at them, I will consider them, and if they're good ones, I will definitely do them. We've done epoxy, we've done cars, we've done another car that's still, at this point in time, it's still in progress. Um, like I said, it just needs, you know, proper glue. Even though on the box it said it didn't need glue, but it shh whatever so yeah I'm, I'm excited for this season I like I said I do have a few others in mind that I want to do if mother nature wants to let off for like two more minutes that would be great um, but yeah there are a few others of these that I want to do so I might get to them I don't know I do have a few other power hours in mind that I want to do but if you have any suggestions please let me know but thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one see yous Okay, next question. How do we drive this to win the Grand Prix?